Hi there, welcome into Sage Sunset Healing Tarot. Working on communication, groundedness, foundation and stability and healing energy. Financial healing and stability. Some of you could be writers. Hmm. You could be writers or who musicians. I feel like you use. A part of your body creatively so it could be your voice your hands your brain very creative thinker look at that there's something coming up for you it could be a marriage a wedding a partnership it could be business coming up business access granted access granted I feel access what have you access granted i feel like what you have been what you have been working on is uh, okay i feel like let me it feels like you belong somewhere and it is because of who you are Maybe you didn't know that you are a part of a certain family and so you'll be entitled to access. For example, going into a building where they need to scan you and then you find out you get access and now realizing that you are a part of a greater family but I feel like this is heavily spiritual in nature as if uncovering your gifts maybe some of you are trying out something new when it comes to your spirituality and you're finding that you're good at it you just get easy access i feel that with the b card here so i feel like you are granted easy access or access to being able to overcome limitations that we groom ourselves with within our daily lives within society so it's that kind of energy so i feel like you scanned and then you realize that the doors are open like if you give it a try you'll realize that you're meant to be this or you're meant to do this thing could be in business some of you could be psychics or pastors religion something in religion or spirituality here someone could be getting married but i feel like something is working out for you it's that access as if you're crossing you're able to go through certain doors maybe leveling up here some of you are leveling up healing transmutation expressing yourself i feel like whoa i just i feel like because i i feel like some of you weren't expressing yourselves very well as if there's a blockage in the connection between your heart space and your throat area right so the connection isn't flowing well there or wasn't but with energy transmutation and also looking at the b card the nine two which is 11 here and 11 here with the four of wands energy i'm feeling a connection that is going to enable you a connection with something within you that will enable you to kind of um, re realize yourself being able to experience the complete opposite of that feeling of being shy or 
hiding yourself away of judging yourself harshly these things that are connected to the heart and the throat chakra here that's the energy i'm feeling shying away not speaking up having even holding in your emotions holding in your emotions maybe not crying you know that feeling you get in your throat when you don't cry and it's so stuck there and it burns and you have to, you, you know you have to drink some water or something so that's the energy i'm getting when i mentioned water i'm also feeling like uh, diving deep into yourself honestly with the hangman card here and the empress energy so maybe some of you are focusing externally on, on all that's surrounding you and maybe you're being guided or advised to take to look into yourself to your water to quench your own soul through meditation and let me share this with you because what i find with meditation is it's allowing yourself to just sit with yourself away from everything that has accumulated or that your body your mind has accumulated within this time just to let that go give it a break as if taking a break from your life in a sense and allowing your body to be free your mind to be free as if tuning out of this world this energy field for a little while you know imagine you're playing a role every day living your life you're an actor and um, in meditation you just take the your uniform off and relax and just let yourself be you know so I'm getting that energy for you I feel triumphant something triumphant coming in it feels royalty supreme royalty supreme could be marriage I said earlier I feel like you're going to be some of you could be get uh, um, taking on a huge task yeah I feel as if you're going to be recognized for something that has to do with nobility just being who you are you're going to be recognized for that and possibly be um, assigned some kind of a role to take part in something I feel it is something you've wanted and I think that's what it comes back down to learning how to express yourself be happy because this is a fiery energy it could be anxiety and nerves feeling afraid of the things that you have created of what you might say wrong anxiety but I feel like this is also saying be happy it feels like happiness laughter self-love self-acceptance just being who you are accepting the way you speak or feel um, being more creative because when you're not stuck up right within your heart space and your throat area meaning you're not really living and speaking from your heart or speaking your own truth it's sort of um what it does is it it takes you out of alignment with what what you are truly to be you know doing or saying or living or speaking and the thing your blessings are that are to be coming to you you're not maybe not receiving because you're not claiming claiming i on it i feel like someone is getting clarity here through this reading right now so I appreciate <laughs> thank you.
Thank you. So I appreciate you being here. Thank you. Um, I could be dealing with Aquarius energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have the Four of Swords and the Hierophant. And I'm getting blessings or being baptized or going through a transformational process. Going through a process of transformation spiritually, arriving at the Empress energy. And the outcome is the Ace of Pentacles and the Empress energy. I, I do feel meditating. I want to say meditate seriously, but not, you know, not, you know, not seriously, but take it serious. As, as really wanting to let go so that <sighs> so that you can come into your true state of being and receiving and you know receiving your blessings being able to receive greatly or greater more abundantly because you're happy you know you're expecting good things to come into you some of you could be healing from a broken heart overcoming establishing roots establishing a foundation maybe building creating starting over redecorating moving into the new having to be making choices on a daily basis you know because i feel that like you're really starting and what you're doing now is something that's making you more grounded or stable could be financially <clears throat> financially working to achieve your goals here or working to heal yourself for transcendence looking at things from a higher perspective i feel like you're spending more time with yourself working on your business and i feel like you're doing it happily with love, acceptance, self-appreciation, expecting the best to come for you. And then I feel like it is. It is. You're, you're, I feel like you're on top of any situation in the past. Because the Three of Swords feels like past energy connected to the Eight of Swords. Here and both of them came out in the reverse. Past energies starting over here the full card and now you're making decisions that will align you with your true wealth your true self your true abundance so i feel like you're working on your values right financially and spiritually all right, thank you so much for being here. I do hope you found messages that are able to help guide you along your journey. Much love to you. Remember to support my channel by liking and subscribing. Your support is greatly appreciated. And I will see you in another video for some more energy healing tarot. Thank you. Oh, by the way, if you have any suggestions for readings that you may be interested in, out of the box questions perhaps for those of you who are who are interested in um spirituality metaphysics uh talk about the future let's ask ourselves let's ask some questions about this world we're living in let's talk about alien life forms what let's talk about dreams 
all of these things let's get some clarifications because there's a lot of things in this life that we're uncertain about and um i'm here and willing to let the tarot guide us to get some answers I will see you. I will see you in the next video. Much love. Take care.